And in today's news, do company manufactured things taste as good as homemade? We're gonna find out. Stay tuned with Wonga Gal coming up. Back to you, Tiana. <laughs> Hi everyone, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Boxing Day, Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's Eve, Happy Holidays in general. Hope you guys are having a safe and healthy holiday season so far. So you know, we're in the midst of things and everybody is getting in the hustle and bustle of buying up all of their Christmas foods. The line for price not long out the door like every day so i know that everybody is in these streets trying to get their christmas goodies so i've been wondering can people actually tell the difference between homemade christmas food and store-bought christmas food hmm. because i know some people swear by price mark christmas cake but i swear by my auntie's christmas cake and we're big believers in homemade sorrel too. I also really love eggnog, but I always buy store-bought eggnog. And so I kind of was wondering like if people can really tell the difference, you know? So today I'm putting my friends to the test as usual. We're going to see if they can tell the difference between store-bought and homemade Christmas cake, sorrel, and eggnog. Hi guys, I'm Shanice. Hi, I'm Chan. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Ashley. I'm Andre. Hey, I'm Christoph. Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm here because I like Christmas and it's Christmas themed. I like to taste things um, and I like flavors and I think I, you know, I think sometimes I'm good at picking up flavors so we'll see. We'll see today. And I haven't had eggnog in a while so I'm excited yeah. for that. Yes. I am. Um, and import exports from the great north, Canada, and I'm hungry. I can't wait to fill my belly. Yes, yeah, so like I only started drinking sorry last Christmas, and the same thing for Christmas cake. It's only been a year, guys. But, oh, so maybe this will be a fun experiment. Right, but I really, really, really like Christmas cake now. I really okay. like fruit cake now. This is where, now that I've gotten gold and I've had it. So your palate has matured, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 I'm here because Tiana promised free food. <laughs> um, the second person on the Wonka Girl podcast, aka co-host, happy to be here as usual. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any skills to say. What I'm looking at is what I'm looking at is a shape. I can smell this one. This this has a smell. Wait then. No no, this one is store no, bought. Yeah, that one is store bought. Yeah, this one is store bought. Okay, so this looks like the Christmas cake my mother buy every year. So I think this one is is from the store. And this one looks like what my grandfather would make at the yard. So this looks like it's a homemade. Then I need the shape. Yeah, the two of them could have been, that one is kinda of difficult. I don't know, I can't do it by our looks. Also, the cake to raisin ratio in this one looks more homemade ish to me. Oh no, that one is one homemade for sure. That one is homemade. Over here. This one, this one smells like a tool. Easy. The density of this one would say it's homemade. Yeah, the one is homemade. Okay. This, is interesting. this one smells like wedding cake. This one smells stronger. It smells the same thing. <laughs> no. What you kind of drawing? You push one? back the table. I don't know. It's so miserable. Sure. Okay. Oh, I love Christmas cakes. <laughs> you know when you bake a cake and you put it down for two days? I'm glad there are no fruits in it. People put too like much fruit, fruit, but people put too much fruit in it, and that is when, it. when it blends out. That's yeah, right. because they, they soak it in the in the red label and then they blend yeah. it out. Yeah. But what's happening when it's just a whole of fruit, lad? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, I just ate both of them. I really can't tell anymore. <laughs> I really can't tell. They're both good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no, no, wait. You know, if you cheers with water, you have to take it back. You have to take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. No cheers with water. Oh, that was soft. It really came apart. Oh, fell off the bone. <laughs> This one's sweet. I like this one. This one's a little bit more tarty. But this one's sweet. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The one you have white rum. I usually know the warm the warm cooks use really the good able. white rum. I really like this one. I really like this one. I really like this one. I like this one. I think it's probably because there's something in it, I keep saying it, that that's different. <laughs> yeah, man. No. I thought this one would have been bad. Because it was so smooth. No man, this one is homemade. That one here, this tastes like rice mouth cake or something like that. Mm -hmm. Which one is homemade? I think the circle one is homemade. <laughs> Definitely this one. Because mm -hmm. there's something in it. I just don't know what it is. You know like, why? This is store-bought. Store-bought cakes are always very dense and flowery. And I don't yeah. know if it's because they have to package it to keep it in the shelf or whatever it is. I definitely prefer this one. But I feel like this one is the one that's uh, store bought. Yeah, I agree. Come on. Yeah, man, you can taste the richness of the butter. This one is store bought. It's not homemade. I'm gonna go finish it. No, finish it. I'm gonna go finish it. I think I'll finish this one. Me too. Like, no. Me too. Like I just from it milk things I don't really I don't like milk so it's like it's the first time I have it. That's very really interesting. So I don't even know what to expect. So already I this do is, I do. This, yeah, <laughs> this has some nutmeg in it. I can see it. You know, like when you set the grater and you put the have the nutmeg yeah, over it. Yeah. yeah, this definitely. I'm not even have a look. I'm not which one already. You see them here? You can smell the supply jelly in this yeah, one. Yeah, this look like something gen. You see that one here? You this see the nutmeg? You know what it smell like? It smell like rum and raisin ice cream. It smell like white rum and I'm happy as yeah. I am. Happy. Yes, okay. <laughs> it smell like rum and raisin ice cream. Yes, it does smell like rum and raisin actually. I feel like this one is homemade again. Like that meat up, meat up. Like sediment, meat up, meat up. Somebody. That's actually somebody. crazy. Well, this again, it look how much enough. Okay, come on. Like a machine. Yeah. A machine. That's true. But even the consistency, if you look at it, it's a lot come smoother. On. This looks like machine churning. Cheers. It's a Christmas. Yeah. Not yeah. melted ice cream. Huh? This is like supple jam with egg yolk. Wow. Come on, it's still good. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so good. <laughs> Something like something gen. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like something gen for real. Come on, like something gen. Oh, woo, child! Let me cleanse my palate before. Go, 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 go. Cleanse, 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 cleanse. Mmm. It's a kick, man. It's a kick, it's a kick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Girl, that picks you up. That that picks you up. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. When let me tell you something. When Jesus says yes, no one can say nobody no. Nobody can say no. Let the church say amen. No, Bro, this is crazy. Oh, this one bad still. This one milky, but this one bad. Home. This is homemade. Yeah, man. Without a doubt. My uh, This is homemade. This? This is sorry about It's good. It's still good. It's really refined. Bro, really nice. awesome. That's how I know this one is homemade. Yeah. Somebody just turn over the white one button. <laughs> this one is homemade. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. But you can tell that this is that definitely homemade. It. it has so much love. You can taste and the love. And did I mention that this has a white rum in it? Right. And then if you put them foot in this, you know? 
Ray and his nephew, mm -hmm. and for my first and second eggnog experience, this is this is actually I would drink this. Yeah, that's pretty good. The milky one. Yeah. Two for two. Girl, we got this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not a sorry drinker. From the color, you can tell that they're different. <laughs> but not too like how the store bought one have a white foam around it. The, the sorrow never steep. The sorrow never get no little, like it never draw out properly. This looks rich up. It's a very rich red kind of look to the robot or something. Mm, this one kind of nice. It's like little... flowers. Yeah. And then this one don't really have a smell as strong as this one. And I always find the homemade sorrel have more of a smell than store sorrel. This one smells like grape juice. It tastes like grape juice. It's like a cranberry taste to it too. Cranberry? Yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's that tartness. Okay. It tastes like cranberry juice. This, have a mix. this, taste, this must have a mix. You never taste sorrel with sour egg. Oh, it's sour though. It's a little tangy. You never taste sorrel with sour egg. Okay, this this tastes like fresher to me. Like, I don't know, they put water in it? Because it, it tastes close as, it, like, I, it doesn't taste, usually when I, when I have my experience with sorrel is it's harsh. This this feels, it this tastes more fresh. Holy yeah, so I'm saying, this, this tastes more fresh. Yeah, man, this is great juice. This is the blood of Jesus. So. So maybe this is not done. This is not done. This is the homemade one. Chopping already makes makes style. This this tastes like a chopping already. Yes. It's still a little tangy, but but I can taste like the clove. I taste the seasoning the clove there. Clove. Yeah, you have to have the clove and the pimento. I taste that. Yeah. This is this is the style that I'm used to. This has more ginger. This definitely has more ginger in it. But you feel like this one has more ginger though than this one? No. You don't? Yeah, this one has, I don't know. This one is this one is throwing me off. <laughs> this one is hard. This one is hard. Yeah, man, it's good. This good. This nice. This is the whole this, this is the homemade one. You can taste the best. Store bought or homemade. Mm -hmm. Even though it doesn't have a lot of ginger, it's smooth. I kind of feel like it tastes like a true juice. Sorry. And I don't know why I'm thinking that because this has a cranberry taste. That that one is more homemade. Yeah. I think I think I'm gonna stick to this being the store. But this is just so different. I gotta go the opposite. I think I think this one is homemade and this one is store. Although well, we for tend fun, to put a lot of ginger and stuff in or for fun I'll sorrel. say that I'll I'll switch it because I'm not sure. And say this is store bought and that is homemade. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The winner. I generally don't have a problem with store bought stuff because I find that people, it's not as commercial. So cakes tend to start tasting um, like they're homemade, even though you buy them in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really have a problem. We don't bake. That's the thing. My house, we don't bake. So we buy our cakes. usually and bring your cakes yeah. and you have some money for that cake. Cake. But yeah. we make our sorry. For the most part, all the Christmas like food and products from my family usually come from our store. The only time we ever have like homemade stuff is when we spend Christmas with my grandmother in Bobby. It's nice to do things together because that's partly what Christmas is about, being family and traditions and all of that. So yeah, but you know, sometimes you just need to go to the supermarket and Make buy it easier and just pick up something. Make it easier. Yeah. In my household for Christmas, we usually buy someone who's from someone who's like Nefra Hambaha homemade um, Christmas cake. Mm -hmm. But, um, but the, the eggnog surprised me. Yeah. I thought because it's milky, yeah. I would have hated that. Yeah. But, but I don't know if Tiana wants to be but Tiana can make an eggnog from me. Yeah, yeah. But no, yeah. I'm Tiana can make yeah. it. As long as you just throw in the body for a while. Mama, my friend, go on. Then I'm good to go. <laughs> One that we have eggnog. One that we have eggnog for Christmas. Yeah, I'm going to be an eggnog drinker now. So the homemade things always win though. 
The woman things always win. They can taste the festivity and the love. It tastes a lot. Mm.